Welcome, I'm Thomas Groendijk and I'm a Bistop developer from the Netherlands. And in this video, I'm going to show you the test tool that I've created to test uh, Bistop maps. Well, here you can see uh, the MSDM page where you can download the test tool. But first, why do you need a custom test tool? Because you can also test Bistop maps in Visual Studio. Uh, well, in some cases, uh, it can be uh, helpful. Uh, and these scenarios I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, first, uh, you have to download uh, the zip file. Um, well, you can uh, do that here. And I already um, downloaded the zip file and opened it in Visual Studio. So let's go to Visual Studio. Here you see uh, the solution. I'm not going to uh, down drill in all the in all the components that um, that's uh, in the solution. Um, I'm going to show you it more from a user uh, perspective. Um, but first, let's see uh, how you can test a uh, Bistock map with uh, normally with Visual Studio. So I also have another Visual Studio environment with some Bistock maps. So when I click on this Bistock map, I'm going to map from a sales order to a purchase order. And to test it, I can select a test file. And when I right click on the map, I can test the map. Well, in this case, we get an exception. So when I go to output and I browse I can browse to the exception and here I can see that an exception has been thrown by a target of an invocation. Now we also get another message, uh, it's with the get data function, but we don't get more information. Well, let's see what the difference is between the test tool uh, and Visual Studio. So let's go back to the other Visual Studio environment and when I build the solution, I can run it. And when you run uh, the map tester tool, you first have to select an XML file. So here I select the sales order message again. And then I have to pick the map. Um, the map has to be deployed to uh, the global assembly cache or the, the assembly where the map is in has to be deployed. So with assembly picker I can go or I can select all the assemblies that are in the global assembly cache. And here I have the sales order map that I want to test. So when here I see uh, the name of the map and I also see the assembly where, the, where the, the map is in. And when I click on test map, I also have an exception message. The tool is divided in some panels, so you can make panels, uh, you can make all the panels larger or smaller. So let's make the result panel uh, larger so I can see what the message or the exception message is. Here I see the same error message again, but now I also have a stack trace. And that can be helpful in some cases where you really want to down drill into your exception. I also have the inner exception with this, with, with this uh, stack trace. And here I see that we have an error in the get data function. So let's go back to the other Visual Studio environment. And the get data function is executed by a custom functoid, and that's the logical database functoid. And let's open it to see what parameters it needs. And the first parameter is uh, the connection string. And in this case, uh, the connection string is in the config file. And that's also uh, very handy if you want to change or you want to add the connection string to the config file. That's also very easy with the test tool because with the test tool you can um, well modify the source code because you have the source code. 
but you also can modify um, <coughs> the config file. So let's go to the config file. Um, so this is the location where uh, the executable is, but also the config file of the executable. And here we have to add the connection string. I already have opened the connection string in uh, Notepad. And here we see that uh, we don't have uh, a connection string in it. Well, here I have the connection string. So when I copy the connection string into the config file, we can use it. But first we have to uh, close the map tester tool because um, well you have to reopen it in order to pick the new configuration up so here I can start uh, the executable again and now uh, I have to select the sales order message back again I also have to pick well this is a little bit too fast. I have first I have to pick the map. I go to the assembly, select the map. Well here we have the map again and the assembly. And now when I hit the test button, I get uh, I get uh, the result and in the and the map is or is also executed and I also have the, exec the, the execution time what it takes um, well and this is the first uh, sample that uh, I wanted to show you another example where the tool can be useful is when you have a map with multiple input messages so let's go back to the other Visual Studio environment where I have a map with multiple inputs um, so first let me close this one and then I'm going to select uh, the map here we have multiple inputs the first message is a person and the second message is a source company info message and these two map to a company message so when you want to use real data um, well you first have to generate um, the envelope with some test data so let's do that and when I click on test map also the input file uh, the generated input file is uh, created so when I select that uh, here you see the person at the source company info message well these are these two are test data and when you want to use real data um, well you have to uh, cut and paste um, these messages into it well it's not exactly uh, rocket science but uh, it takes some time so let's have a look how the test tool uh, can help you with that so let's go back to the other Visual Studio and when I start uh, the map tester tool I also have the option to create an envelope with multiple input messages and first I need a person and I also need a source company info message and when I click on finish well you can enter the name of the envelope message that's going to be created so when I hit save the envelope message is created with real the real messages into it so we have the person message and the source company info message and now when I click or I have to select the map also so and now I have to select the multiple input to a company map and when I click on test map the map is executed and you get a company message so this wraps it up uh, I really hope that the test tool uh, can help you in some cases uh, I think that especially on the test or in a production environment it could be useful uh, because there you don't have Visual Studio uh, normally installed 
uh, also you can modify it to your own needs so um, well that's it and uh, thank you